Libra. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 7th to the 13th of March 2022. These are general, general readings only. Just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. As I've got two cards out there. Overall, the High Priestess, you've got your wall up here, okay, but you're quite happy just sitting back, watching what's going on around you, not wanting to be overwhelmed or get too involved in everything that's going on. Some time for you. Past energies, you had the Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, the Emperor. Could have been dealing with an Aries in the past. You're very focused on getting an apology here from someone for something that has happened even further back here. You weren't feeling like you're able to move forward until, until that apology came through and you might still be actually, actually be waiting. Okay, you have got the Emperor here. Very lo logical, level-headed. Think it through. Is it worth waiting for? And um, maybe ready to just move forward with some sort of new beginning. Present energies, you have the Four of Swords, the Hermit, Six of Cups. That past is still sticking to you here, but you're taking a lot of time here for yourself. With the High Priestess, you've also got this Four of Swords and the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo in the core of your reading, doing some soul searching, taking some time out for yourself, just to rejuvenate, gather your thoughts and um, and remove that past that you seem stuck and focused on we will clarify everything shortly future energies love this you've got transition love that two of wands three of swords that heartbreak able to leave that in the past now with transition okay focusing on what lies ahead this whole new journey the past is done and dusted could be dealing with Scorpio I think I did say that you've got this goal of where you want to be heading towards and that transition is um, going through that phase of leaving this past in the past leaving this heartbreak behind whoever it is whatever it is that broke your heart possibly a third party situation could be around home around love around work you're now focused on where you're heading towards and um, yes let's clarify everything there could be the reason you've got your guard up overall for the week is from where somebody has broken your heart here So Libra, the High Priestess. You have the Princess of Wands, the Star, the Hierophant. Be dealing with Aquarius or Taurus here, but you're very compassionate, giving energy here. Willing to share your dreams, and you do have dreams and wishes and hopes here. But you're ready to do this your way rather than cave into others telling you who to be with or what to do where to work etc you're doing this your way following your heart following your gut instinct and um, focusing on your dreams love that brilliant past energies ace of wands judgment knight of wands queen of swords yeah whole different approach towards something or someone as I said waiting for that apology you might be just saying now to hell with it I'm moving forward it's been a rocky ride um, keep an open mind towards where this whole new journey is about to take you some clear-cut action being taken though and leaving that apology back there that has never arrived four of cups that will help shift this vision look queen of swords and into this king of swords five of cups the world yeah it does 
cause sadness when that doesn't happen when you're expecting something like that to in order to be able to move forward and it doesn't come through but there's a lot of loving energy around you you just need to shift your focus around to see that it is there it may not be so obvious when you're stuck on one cup with that four of cups we're clarifying but that world is pushing you forward and it's got your back here. Something's coming full circle. You're able to move forward and you're able to use your head over your heart and think things through clearly and logically. And maybe then that's where you realized at that point back there that that apology was not going to come through. Moving to the Emperor, love that. Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. A long drawn out process to bypass this drama and to work through these disagreements, these conflicts that have been going on in the past. But you get you know, that long process. You've got yourself back into balance, back into alignment. It is a constant juggle, but you're in control of the situation with the Emperor. But it may have been, as I said, a slow process in working through that back then but we come into present energies time for you four of swords too many there flying out four of swords for you self-healing here look at this two of cups ace of swords the hermit clearing that crap out from the past always say with the ace of swords a fresh new start you go to the hermit next so it's very much focusing on yourself here nothing wrong with that at all there is love here it could be an existing relationship it may be somebody extremely brand new ready for this fresh new start there's light at the end of the tunnel and um, as i said but first that focus is to gather yourself and your thoughts back together there to clarify this hermit you have princess of cups look at this four of swords ace of cups this new love here maybe an existing relationship with a new chapter it may be meeting somebody extremely brand new maybe an age gap here maybe a same-sex relationship it may be different cultures different nationalities younger energy here could be a child or a pet but again four of swords doing that self-healing that focuses on you ready for this whole brand new chapter that light at the end of the tunnel could be this whole brand new chapter when it comes to love still could be a job you love a home you love but i think in this case this is love love and that is able to shift your focus from the past with the six of cups here you have the king of wands king of pentacles seven of swords yeah that set of energy that you have had in the past it is in the past and you're leaving that behind now you're concentrating on where you want to be heading towards got all the success getting control of finances letting everything start start to fall into place to start i've said everything starts to fall into place here and this focus and this journey is on its true path love that libra transition future energies you've got the devil two of swords ace of wands but then this negative energy keeps sneaking back somebody else had that there too the devil as their first clarification down here could be dealing with the capricorn but there's con it's causing confusion here you're trying to leave this past behind to focus on this new journey but you're still waiting for this apology and it's causing this um, crossroads energy crossroads situation of not being able to move forward until that apology comes through and as i said it may not come through so it's all talking about transition leaving that past in the past breaking free from that negative energy taking that blindfold off and exploring well actually look at what lies ahead and um here goes this whole brand new beginning let's go for it two of wands you have the nine of cups the full nine of swords there's balance here even though there's still some sleepless nights some overthinking of things here but there's emotional happiness here and you are ready to go for this new beginning and go for it in a big way take a leap of faith take that chance jump in two feet and all and just go for it that may be causing some stress some sleepless nights 
Am I doing the right thing? That may be the confusion with the Two of Swords we just clarified with before. Do I or don't I? And I think with this full here, you do. <laughs> Love that. And, um, and just going for it. What have you got to lose? Because you want to heal this broken heart with this Three of Swords we finish with. And you get Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, which we just clarified. So yeah, you are focused here on where you're heading towards. You, you know, that leap of faith, you know, you're in now, you're in this. <laughs> Once and for all, you are, you're in it. Okay, clear communication. And it may be back to this energy that keeps coming around. And it's just like, okay, I'm done. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm moving forward here. And um, you've got this focus of where you're moving forward to. And there's success here with that Ten of Pentacles, whether it's success that you're moving forward to, whether it's success and being able to leave that past and that apology that didn't come, whether you're able to leave that behind. Success in itself right there and success to heal that broken heart and be able to move forward. Pretty powerful right there, Libra. So let's see what the universe has to say. Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Prince of Cups. There's options here, possibly when it comes to love. You may be offering love to someone, they may be offering love to you, but it brings an end of this burden and feeling like you're on this journey on your own. No, there's a partnership involved here. Again, it may be an existing one, maybe somebody extremely brand new, but there's options to explore. Um, I'll always say don't take the first one that looks good or those repeat patterns, even though everybody at some stage does, but it is saying, like, explore your options here. Boom. So let's finish with Open to Spirit Oracle, which I do read from the book. Nothing's jumping out here. That one. No, there's two there. These cards are still that one. These cards are still very sticky. You know, I've had them forever. I love this. Accelerate your gifts, create your intuitive language. Love that. I know you can't see the picture very well. Words in here are play, voyage, love, journey. You've been on a journey. Continue that journey moving forward. It's the very first card. You have natural gifts. Boost your potential to receive and give accurate messages by creating your own intuitive language. Choose significant symbols, memories, and relationships from your life to represent a message. For example, what symbol or image would you choose for, yes, go ahead? Just maybe that full, that's down here, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> or pause, be cautious your self-healing time here. What image could represent a birthday or car trouble? A strong intuitive language accelerates your psychic and mediumship gifts. Love that. What you're putting out there to the world. Brilliant. So Libra, that's what I have for you for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.